Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM episode 352. I think that's what we're up to. 352. Uh, so, first things first. Has all of our effort on mineral sludge worked? Let's quickly have a look. Uh, mineral sludge. Look at all of these. Now, <laughs> before you're going, oh my god, it didn't work. These are all requests saying there is an empty cargo train waiting. Oh, sorry, we need an empty cargo train to pick up all of our mineral sludge. I'll show you. See, we have a lot. <laughs> we're chockers and we need someone to come and pick up our mineral sludge. That's what that has shown. All of these. We've gone from like this many all needing mineral sludge to this many oversupplied mineral sludge. So yes, I'd call that a success. Um, what else? I've noticed that some of my recordings have been truncating sort of the, uh, the sides of the um, tech that we're researching or down here. Um, I'm hopeful that I've got it right before I started recording this time. Um, I guess I'll see when it's fully done, but I kind of checked beforehand and moved it around a little bit. Uh, if I didn't tell you guys before, basically um, when I got my new hardware, I've got one of those ultra wide screens, 21.9, but if I film in that resolution, you'll end up with a black band at the bottom and at the top of the screen, and it's not so wonderful on YouTube. So um, I'm trying to use a window um, and just getting the window positioned right for OBS is, uh, well, it's got its own little set of challenges, shall we say. But I'd prefer that you could actually see what this is saying and doing. Um, let's have a quick check to see if, it's, if science is actually doing anything. No, it's not. That's fine. Uh, it's probably not doing anything because Red Circuit still hasn't got there yet. Um, red Circuits... Um, although a higher priority one has, so that's the modules. Modules is not waiting on red circuits anymore. Uh, modules has 19k even. Uh, so we're producing, and we have 238 of these guys. Um, it doesn't look like we have any of the next ones though, because it looks like we need processing units. But I could make a run over there and grab those... 200 and well i could grab some of them <laughs> maybe not all of them but i could grab some of them maybe a couple of hundred even uh because i want to um at least initially get rid of the flashing light oh and see i finished all of these um that's why the mineral sludge is so good but i want to get rid of all the flashing lights like over here and these were all supposed to be taking um some low level production mods uh and what about over here? We probably are looking for some low-level product productivity mods in here as well. Um, and red circuits, there's no point doing red circuits without um, productivity um, mods. So, uh, does it actually tell you? Um, anyway, I'm gonna grab a couple of hundred from um, while they're there <laughs> before something else happens to move that on um and then we'll sort of look at what we're going to do this episode um i just have to take advantage of this situation that is not that common but while it's there right let's get my train um i am using a bigger screen than i would have been filming with in the old days uh, I don't know if, if it's a problem when I scroll completely out like this, or if it's better. Um, some people like to be a little bit closer to the action. Um, I guess it depends what we're trying to do. Okay, we want to go to modules. Uh, modules. Uh, yeah, they'll do. Oh, it's going to go up here, is it? I guess it may have decided that at the last minute based on... Um, traffic <laughs> try and avoid the congestion although it looks like we came straight to the congestion and went into a screaming halt so that didn't really help um 
yeah so i probably want to deploy these modules but then quite probably the very next thing i want to do is i had this suggestion in the comments from um is it n or m let me just check let me just check so i don't get this all totally wrong um hopefully i don't miss my stop while i'm doing this uh, brief uh, where are we going still trying to get to still trying to get to our location hang on no we've, we've missed it all right never mind um, I'll just get out. I will just get out, because we're pretty close. Um, this is modules, right? So, yeah. Uh, we almost have 300. Oh. I already have 200. Um... Right, fine. <laughs> Let's just do that. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, um, never mind. Um, the suggestion that I was, um, Referring to, I think, N Pand 01, uh, something like that is his name. He's been around for quite a while in terms of supporting the channel. Um, he made this recommendation that, uh, or advice that um, if you make copper plate from the copper sheet coil, um, you can put, and he's dead right, you can put pr productivity modules in there. So I can get 72% more copper uh, plate simply by um, unrolling the copper sheet coil and that is huge given our shortages in um, copper plate if they still exist let's quickly check uh, actually those are looking for empty trains apparently that's an interesting name that doesn't seem quite right oh why are you called that's totally wrong all right so we have quite a lot of copper plate at the moment but um that could just be because um because of red circuits we haven't run certain things um i want to get over to these destinations where i need to put in the um productivity modules I also want to quickly check, because it's been a while, if I put productivity modules in here, I did, but they're not they're not the most aggressive productivity modules. We're only getting 15% boost. Uh, how many can I put in these machines? I'm not 100% sure. No, 36%, 36%. I think it might be as many as six. So I could get 72, I could get twice as much productivity if I put the most expensive ones in there. Um, that is possibly something I need to do. Uh, because of these, I think I've overcome the uh, speed um, reduction. No, I might need more of these. Um, so that's that one, and up here, uh, we do have the plus 72 percent um and i think we've lost some speed here as well so i probably need to put some beacons in here i have already so this is with beacons they might need um more powerful speed modules or we might need more of them or we might need bigger ones that cover a larger area all of those are options that we can get into um, we have to get the biggest bang for the buck. I think I actually have a reasonable number of the high-end productivity modules. 
Uh, 89. It's not actually that many, is it? You divide that by 6, that's only like 10 machines. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. First things first. Let's start at... Um, let's start over here. Copper ore. Although that kind of seems like the least important of our issues at the moment. Because we have so much mineral sludge. This is really not going to be a problem. So maybe... Uh, maybe... Green circuits and red circuits should be completely filled out with these low level prod modules um, as a start. Uh, okay, let's do that instead. You kind of want as many multiplications as you can get, but you also probably want as big a multiplication as you can get. And when you're doing vanilla factories, you're looking at a. Um, you're trying to look at a massive uh, multiplication effect to get your uh, factory up to something seriously impressive. This is kind of handy, I just have to run next to it. One set of flashing gone, that wasn't very many modules, so I'm good with that. Is there a limit? Uh, no, they can take school. Ah, oh, I've used some of the super productivity modules at the beginning anyway. I must have had a real shortage on uh, green circuits at one point. This is going to completely destroy my supply real fast. Yep. Huh. Yep. Okay, maybe I did need all of those modules after all, but I want some of them to convert into higher level machines. Um, how many are we missing now? It's oh, another 300. Good grief. Uh, how are we actually doing here now? Well, we actually have that 300. Uh, okay. These are fully moduled out just not as aggressively as I wanted. All right, what we'll do is I will grab another 300. Is it, it is 300 or is it 300 and something? Um, I don't actually, I think this is for the entire factory, so it's probably not 300 just here. All right, let's go back to modules and get some more. Um, Modules. Uh, no, train. Train, come and get me. Come and get me. Um, but yeah, then we need to look at converting copper plate into copper sheet coil and work out how many places we would have to then change to accommodate this change. Maybe just the main one becomes copper sheet oil and then we do red circuits. There we go. Okay, take me to modules, dude. Uh, modules. This time, let's put you on manual. And, um, none in there yet. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. We definitely have enough now. A bit of luck, we'll be bringing some back. Take me back to red circuits.
and no need to wait for that to come back and just head off immediately um, I might put you into manual again Okay, red circuits has at least productivity modules somewhere. Uh, 111 left. Um, shall we do the copper patch? I suppose it's just going to annoy me if I don't. I don't know where I want to go next, so... There we go. I still actually have some modules. I have some speed modules as well. Uh, I probably have too many speed modules. You don't really need to belong there. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, how goes red circuits at this point? Um, oh, science must have resumed while we were yakking. Running around. Uh, not so much. Um... It is actually filling this up though. So that's something. Um, and red red circuits is definitely definitely not running at all at the moment. Wooden boards. I thought we had tons of wooden boards. Yeah, that's it there, isn't it? 17k. Ah. Are we going to need another facility like this? Or wooden boards just so that we have enough? Possibly. Maybe I need to up this and maybe even up the speed of these guys. I'm not sure. Uh, there doesn't look like there's a lot of trees coming in. Um, these guys are running as fast as they can unless they can take modules. Um, you never know. Uh, what's power doing? Ton still. 50% spare capacity like it just about always is. Um, okay. Doesn't look like we need more of these either. <laughs> uh, let's just make sure it's still... Yeah. Although this has shrunk slightly. Um, okay, so... How many places are... It's unsatisfied requests. Let's have a look at requesters. This actually takes a while for it to pop up. Um, we want requesters that are looking for copper plate. Um, those are the loads. So there's two sciences. Um, ah, oh, then I'd have to work out which ones are via, uh, direct circuits, wouldn't I? Yes, that is a lot harder to do. 
Hmm. A lot harder to do. I don't really have a search on. Um, I don't really have a search on that, so I'd have to. I mean, something would fall, <laughs> something would fail, and then I'd know to to go and check uh, why and check for a direct circuit connection that's not being satisfied. Do we need copper in here, for example? Yes, yes, we do. Do we need it in modules? Do we need it in advanced modules? Uh, it looks like the answer to that is yes as well. Um, hmm. It is a massive improvement though. Okay, what would we have to do? We wouldn't be doing it there, we'd be doing it... We would be doing it... Uh, where's copper plate here? Problem is you need all this sort of infrastructure. Um, and... What is our... What is our current production capability? It's not actually that high. 3,800 plates. Thirty-six thousand. Does that? Does it need like ten? Um, some minor productivity boost in there. Casting machine three. Is that the maximum casting machine? Casting machine four. No, it's not. Production furnace four as well. Um, so that that also could be a boost to what we're doing. Um, I guess I want to know how many of these machines I would need to process the equivalent of our thirty six hundred. Um, actually, let's include all of these and see what it says. Um, it actually looks like we process too much. <laughs> but we're only okay. We're getting thirty-eight hundred per minute from this. If um, I should run over to the copper plate there, I guess, our main copper plate. How far is it? It's up one as well. Oh, and I'm, I'm thinking I need to give aluminium another train. Maybe I need to give wooden boards another train as well. Tin, iron, magnesium, and copper plates. So, we had this guy, and the recipe was uh, cheek oil. That makes two from 80. That makes four from 140. Uh, so we'd have to do that one. Uh, we can only put speed modules in here. Actually, does this take... We could actually have put modules in here, which I haven't done, but only speed modules. I'm not interested in the power saving ones. 
Um, how quickly do you do this? You do it uh, two seconds. Two seconds converts 140. How much do you output? Um, 120 in four seconds. Of course, this is going to be horrid. Um, I know I've got um, like a planner that I could do this in. But um, one, you're doing, what is it? 120. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's like fourteen forty, right? Um, I actually just wanted this is the planner I was talking about. I'm gonna have to remember how to use it if I want to start. <laughs> um, if I wanted to start doing, I think I go there. Production line. Uh, what do we want to do? Base time. We want to make a minute. Um, where's add recipe? Add a recipe. Uh, the recipe that we want is that one. Um, the is that the best machine? Probably. So, in a completely un sort of beakered way we would want to use um, input you can't actually tell it how much input you've got can you you just have to say how much output you want to get and then sort of work backwards or at least I don't know how uh, it's been a while since I've tried to use this but um, Let's say we wanted, oh, this is sheet coils. How many sheet coils? Um, see, it's really not helping me much. Uh, yeah, whatever, go away. Uh, where's the basic calculator that we've got? Um, that on the sky is actually so um, let me do this once more if we're getting 4300 up to 4300 uh, units um, but we process so that's 15 times a minute so we'd have to divide that by 15 2880 and then we're going to use it in a thing that takes 140 we would need 20 machines. Does that make sense? Uh, something doesn't seem quite right there. One of these produces 120 every four seconds one of these takes um 140 every two seconds every two seconds every four seconds so at best two of these will just be able to keep up if they're given speed modules and oh, that's all this can take as well if we're given speed modules two of these can fill one of these and then we have to sort out um, the coolant but we already have coolant 
kind of catered for. Uh, I'm not sure what all this business is about. I can't remember. It was probably something that sounded clever to me, but actually wasn't that clever. Clever. This is uh, an input of um, additional coolant. Um, and then I have these towers, um, which I suspect I'm supposed to have a final tower going, I do have now actually, going straight to purified water. Um, are these able to cope with more? I very much doubt it, right? Uh, no, you're... Well, it's because you've got speed modules, but you're kind of fine. Um, yeah, at the moment they're kind of fine. Uh, what about these? Oh, we have two pairs anyway, so... Were I to make these sheet coil machines, I'd need one per two, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'd need six of them. Um, and then I would need, how, <coughs> how many have we got over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we've got seven. I would probably need two more of um, these sort of setups. Oh, I see. I'm trying to get rid of... Um, I'm trying to bleed them off into creating steam, then forcing it to use this steam via all of this carry-on. I don't know if that's really... Um, if that's really completely necessary. Uh, this is never really running. Um, where else do we get purified water from? Is This, this is working, you see? I probably... Oh, hang on. I'm draining purified water as well, and I'm doing something weird over here. Um, I wonder if I got rid of the steam engines, whether I'd actually need this. I don't know. Let me do a quick analysis of this whole thing. So, the coolant in and out is balanced. Uh... I'm not sure what I'm reading when I'm looking at the steam amount. It does look like we need additional water, perhaps. Uh, what goes on here? Used coolant. You're not even running though. Oh, this is because it stopped, so that's not really helping me. Um, I should be able to fit all of that in. Do I have more of these? Strand casting machines. Strand casting machines. Uh, I've got lots of things, but that's not, um, it's not what I seem to have. Okay. Strand casting machine. No, it's not being highlighted. But I need five strand casting machines. What's a strand casting machine? Let's just make that five. Um... Because what we can do is, because we have copper plate made over here as well. Um, I can turn this other one into strand casting. And then slowly convert the most critical areas to use strand casting. Are you operating? No, you're not. Uh, how are you going? You're a bit slow. Are you out of anything? Yes, you must be. You are definitely out of something. 
So I'm not sure what. Maybe you're not out, you're just low. Well, we need to find out what the next uh, pressure points are. What's this one up here? Supposed to be. Ah, uh, this is where we get oil products that we needed down here. Right, okay, that makes sense. Um, yes, okay. Plan formed. Uh, train, get my special train to come and pick me up. I need to go to the ME. Need to go to the ME. That was pretty quick. Send me to the make everything. I may not even have to exit the train. Oh, wait a minute. We also need those um, coolant towers. I bet I don't have coolant towers on me, do I? I do, but four's not enough. Four needs to be eight. Um, yeah, can you stop for a sec while I check uh, coolant towers and these things? Um, let's turn those on and now I'll let it do its stuff. Four on the way, five on the way. I only needed four extra, so that's perfect. Take those off me. Eight, excellent. Okay, so um, I now want to go back to Hopper. Uh, here will do. Go away. Let's go. out okay how do we do this probably pick up that um, cut cut there and there Drain for a moment. <sighs> All right. Um, that should drain that one a little bit faster. I just don't want to pick up the vast pile of uh, copper plate. Um, <sighs> Once I've got this sorted, I will do a more of a mass um, clear. It looks like no more is being taken. Uh, you're empty. You may as well be. You still have tons. Mm. Come on, somebody needs copper, don't they? I don't want 200 copper plates. I 
take that one. Uh, I'll take these two out. Fairly safe. This is just making the situation worse. All right, let's um. Let's do that. So they're all going to clear as soon as um, there's some more copper demand. At the moment we have 32k down there. Uh, the other thing I could do is tell this to go to uh, 64. Just drain it in other words. Seems to be letting these ones drain first. Maybe I should have started down here. So it's sort of going to be similar to over here. Yeah. Uh, okay, the first two have fully drained at this point. So, uh, this can go pretty close. We will be doing this formula using the coolant. Um, we need to insert coolant. Could be slightly challenging. Um, hmm. You are used coolant, okay. I would like. Maybe I would like longer pipes. Used coolant. This is probably a temporary measure. Good coolant. That's going to end up coming straight into here. On the line with that, is it? No, it's just below it. Uh, where would we like to get to for the good coolant? Good coolant runs directly along here. So we kind of want to come in, you know, maybe something like this.
let's just see how this works for a sec. It's working pretty well. So, um, we then have... I don't know if we need ultimate belt or not, but ultimate belt to dump. What were we using before? We're just using fast stack inserters, I think. Uh, they're all... They're all gone, perhaps. Uh, which means I'm probably going to have to use express stack inserters. To empty. Um, Alright, so that's the general idea. Do I dare let bots undo this? Uh... I don't know where those inserters are going. They're not filters, are they? No. It, oh, they're just fast. They're not even stack. That's what's going on. Okay. Good to know. Um. Oh, okay. Whatever. The way I'm doing this is going to end up being slightly annoying. Uh, you'd have to think it's unlikely that um, these are going to have enough capacity for all these extra ones as well, but I guess you never know. Uh, I really don't want to be carrying um, that sort of stuff around. Maybe fast inserters are all I really need. Probably need to go there. Um, so to expand this picture a little bit further.
Okay, we're just kind of done again. Do I have this? Um, did it save or did it just threw it away? Okay, whatever. Um, you let's make you a drop far, and then let's do another copy. Uh, let's copy. Uh, let's copy all of that. Um, that there. Oh, I should have copied this bit as well. Never mind. Damn it. Um, do. That's what we actually want. work out the way we intended. Blueprint. Because we've got the wrong condition there, of course. Um, how many do we have plates? 22,000. Okay. Uh, when is it called exactly? When it's greater than 16,000. Okay, okay. Oh, did I run out of these? No, it just somehow ended up in the wrong place. Uh, so, what we ideally want then is probably to have... Um, the used coolant cycle around to here as well. What? You are used coolant. You are your coolant. Okay. Good coolant. That's the used coolant up there. The good coolant should probably... Join with this one. Okay, and the the evil coolant. Um that it's actually an evil coolant, but So that seems to be managing pretty well. Um, maybe for the brief moment we don't actually need to do anything more. Um, 
So these guys don't run quite continuously because these need to produce more because um, we're using 280 every four seconds. This is 240 every four seconds. So if we increase that by 20%, um, that should be enough actually. So, you should be running continuously now. You're not. Why is that? Uh, unknown. We're clearly not getting enough resources down here now. Wow. Wow. I might have to break off more out of here. Anyway, we actually have, uh, it looks like 5.9k of those coils at this point. <clears throat> this is getting rid of the other coils. So this will be an interesting test. Has this got to a point where our little machines are getting overwhelmed? Used coolant. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Uh, you're... No, it doesn't look like the used coolant is struggling. I don't know if I need these guys though. Uh, oh, is that part of the issue? If the power gets too low, it grabs power from outside, but um, like it's doing now. Steam Engine 2s. Uh, why do we need those? What would happen if we took them out? I'm not sure. Um, but I think we are maybe getting to the end of where we need to be. Um, or at least for time. I'm going to have to make this um, two parts perhaps with the dynamic conclusion <laughs> in the next episode when we start or well, we create a train for the um, these ones the copper sheet coil and we start utilizing them in some of our key spots but anyway thanks for joining me for this one guys and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye for now.